Hi, my name is Glenn Hasselman. I'm just making this video for the free accounting software users to show you guys what to do where a batch gets stuck in the sent status. So I've processed a few payrolls um, actually in previous videos and um, and now um, let's say you process a payroll. Um, for some reason it doesn't go to this um, lodge complete status. It gets stuck in the sent status. That could happen for various reasons. It could be that um, there was some problem at the ATO, the ATO was down for maintenance, or it could be as simple as the fact that you, you when you lodged it, you actually exited the software before the software retrieved the messages. So let's go and see what this is. So. Um, clicking into the batch and going to the STP Lodge page. Um, the batch status is here again. Um, we expand this title pane and it just confirms it's on send status. Here's a nice helpful message at the top of the page. Um, batch status is sent. You need to retrieve messages. And um, yes, so you should do that. Um, basically, that involves selecting your Oz key oh no sorry not Oz key machine credential um, and then clicking retrieve lodge messages the software goes away and um, tries to retrieve the messages um, and it says warning no messages available it could mean the ATO has not processed it processed it yet um, we could try again later so You've got to give them a bit of time to process it. Um, when uh, there, there are a lot of single touch parallel lodgements in Australia, and um, you know sometimes it can it can take a little bit for them to process it. I'm not sure what the exact um, time frame is, but I kind of think if it's 24 hours and it's a weekday, um, yeah, something's gone wrong. So, in the previous video I showed the retrieve messages where it comes back and changes to lodge complete status. In this case, it's, it's saying there's no messages available and it's staying in the sent status. So, let's say you've waited an appropriate amount of time and um, you've um, decided you want to go and resend this lodgement. Um, so the way to do that, um, as you can see down the bottom here, um, the lodge button is greyed out. So we can't just go and re-click that lodge button. And we have to reset this so that we can do that. So the way to do that is up the top here you've got this um, um, text in the and it says the batch description. So when we set up the batch we typed in that description and I'll just click on that and that takes us to the batch edit page. Now we can see the status is sent over here and it is disabled if we click on it um, it's not going to let us change it. Um, however there is a button down the bottom here that says unlock batch status so we just click that and then it allows us to change it. Now the reason I set that up is because you're not really supposed to have to change this status. So the fact you have to click the unlock just gives you an indication that hey maybe that's just not something to um, be changing um, too early without trying other things. I mean the software is, it does update the status as you go through the process normally. Anyway, this is something that's gone wrong in the process. So we've decided we want to reset. So change the status back to create it. Um, and then save. Now, when, I also just want to point out one other thing on this is that um, if you are lodging an amended batch 
So like it's this you've amended it and it's the second time it got stuck on sent. Um, then you you want to change it to amended rather than created. Um, okay. Anyway. So in any case, now I have saved it back to created status. So I can click through to the transactions and then through to the STP Lodge page and then scroll down the bottom, select my Oz key, put the password in and then hit the Lodge. Oh, before I hit the Lodge button, anytime you Lodge of course, you have to tick the box to agree to the declaration and then click the Lodge button. And then it goes away and does the lodge. Um, it goes to uh, uh, status is set, sent and it will um, automatically refresh in 68 seconds and see if the ATO has processed it. Um, it's probably not much point to um, wait until this is finished. Um, so anyway, I hope the video has been useful to you and thanks for watching.